Well, Minnesota's high school wrestling community asking a lot of questions after a scary situation on the mat at the state wrestling tournament last week. Fox 9's Bab Santos has this exclusive story for us tonight. Julia and Derek Walters were traumatized. I thought something had happened to his neck to the point where he couldn't move. And left frustrated with leadership at every level. Refereeing, sportsmanship, medical, uh, I mean, it was just all around. After they say their son, Shakopee sophomore Kyler Walters, was robbed of his state title dreams last Friday. Kyler got ahead early in this match against a Forest Lake athlete, but then his opponent appears to put him in a chokehold. And he says he lost consciousness for under a minute. Felt like I was still like just waking up in the hotel. And then it just all struck me that I was in the middle of the XL. Evaluated by medical staff, Kyler was allowed to continue wrestling. But moments later, the family says his opponent choked him out again. And this time, by the time he regained consciousness for a second time, he'd been pinned. His chances at a championship, gone. Days later, Kyler is feeling normal again, but his family and many in the community still feel sick. Something needs to be different. No athlete should be losing consciousness twice in any kind of athletic event. I mean, it's, it's crazy. The thing is, the front headlock is not illegal. The way he puts it on is not illegal. So not illegal but potentially dangerous. Former collegiate wrestler and high school coach Darren Homey analyzed the tape. Homey says with the Forest Lake athlete on the bottom, he believes less expecting refs did not see him as a threat or believe Kyler was in danger. Still, after missing the call the first time, Homey says the refs should have learned from that mistake the second time around. It's definitely a gray area. It's, it's, a, it's a judgment area for the ref. A statement from Shakopee Public Schools echoes that, saying in part, the MSHSL is the final arbiter for all on-site scoring and rule determinations for the competition. The MSHSL also wrote, each offseason, they review rules, trends in wrestling, the safety of wrestlers, the methods and mechanics of officiating, as well as points of emphasis for the coming season. This annual review and the decisions of these groups are shared through the training of both coaches and officials always prioritizing the safety of all wrestlers. Fox 9 also reached out to Forest Lakes team but we were unable to do an interview with them. In the newsroom, Bab Santos, Fox 9.